हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द इन न्यू सीरीज ऑफ दृष्टि आई एस आई एम ऋतु एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी व्हिच इज चंद्रयान थ्री एंड व्हाट आर द न्यू डेवलपमेंट्स वी हैव इन चंद्रयान थ्री सो वी ऑल नो दैट दिस टॉपिक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम जी एस थ्री सो बिफोर मूविंग टू द पॉइंट ऑफ डिस्कशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विल हैव अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट द चंद्रयान थ्री so we all know that you know istro has already launched two space missions which is related to the lunar mission and they are called chandrayaan 1 and the second is chandrayaan 2 so we already know that in chandrayaan 1 we got the information about the presence of the water on the moon and in chandrayaan 2 we got so many information related to the atmosphere of the moon but unfortunately it got failed and after that we have launched chandrayaan 3 and when we have launched chandrayaan 3 so on 14th july we have launched chandrayaan 3 so 14th july 2023 we have launched chandrayaan 3 and what are the features of chandrayaan 3 we have so it consist one lander and one rover and the name of the lander is vikram and the name of the rover is pragyan and this time we don't have any orbit so this is a brief introduction about chandrayaan 3 so moving to the points of discussion so first of all we will discuss about the news that what is the relevance of this news and then we will discuss about lander will slowly descend further and what are the new developments we have in the chandrayaan 3 and we will also discuss about the challenge of the soft landing because last time we failed in the soft landing so this time we will discuss about it and we will also discuss about the scientific missions on the lunar surface so what kind of the scientific missions isro is going to take place so we will also discuss about this thing and after that we will discuss about what about the propulsion module because this thing is in news so we will discuss about this thing and after that we will discuss about practice question for prelims and mains moving to the news part so on 17th of august isro has tweeted that thanks for the ride mate and for whom it has tweeted so it has tweeted for the vikram and vikram has been separated from the propulsion module so what is the difference between here vikram and propulsion module so we will discuss in the further slide so we already know that vikram is a lander of the chandrayaan 3 and propulsion module is a different kind of space mission launched by the isro and it will also study earth from the moon so this is a difference between lander and propulsion module so this time they have separated and we already know that on 24th of august lander which is vikram is going to have soft landing on the south pole of the moon and in the previous lecture we have discussed about that why isro wants to explore the south pole of the moon because no space agency has reached so far and because of the dark climatic weather and because of the lack of the temperature and so many problems we have so because of that the area is highly unexplored so isro wants to explore that area that's why they want to explore the south pole of the moon so this is the brief about the news moving to the next slide so what is the next slide about lander will slowly descend further so what is the current orbit of the lander we have so current orbit is 153 into 163 km orbit and slowly it will descend so what kind of the slowly it will descend so it will descend by 100 into 100 km of orbit and when it will go closer to the moon it will descend by 100 into 30 km of the orbit and by this orbit it will try to not it will try it is expected to touch down of the moon so this is the expected orbit we have this time so moving to the next slide so what is the next slide is about the challenge of the soft landing so we all know that you know chandrayaan 2 was unable to have soft landing on the moon and why it was unable to have soft landing on the moon because of the software problem and also the hardware problem but this time we are updated and we have inserted so many new technology in chandrayaan 3 and we are expecting that you know this time there will be no problem and for the safety and for the better impact we have also inserted a large tank so if there will be any last minute changes if there will be any unavoidable circumstances and emergency cases then this time we are not going to have this kind of problem which we had in the chandrayaan 2 so we have updated our technologies and we have also updated our software and hardware so this is brief about this slide moving to the next slide so what the next slide says that scientific mission on the lunar surface so what are the scientific mission isro is expecting on this lunar surface so you know uh, once the 
lander will touch down the moon then after that rover will be deployed so this is one of the scientific mission of the isro and what happened after that so there are two kinds of payloads on the rover so what kind of the payloads we have so first of all they will study the chemical and mineral composition of the lunar surface and they will also study the composition of different kind of elements present on the lunar rocks and soil and which kind of the elements they are going to study so they are going to study about the magnesium aluminium and iron so this is the scientific mission by the isro and what are the further mission we have so further mission we have for the that chandrayaan 3 rover will operate for one lunar day which is equal to the 14th earth day so what is one lunar day here so one lunar day is that you know the time period in which moon completes its rotation on its axis so this is called the lunar day so it will last up to the 14 earth day and why there is so much of short time because the surface temperature lacks the thermal insulation and what is this thermal insulation so it is a kind of technology which reduces the transfer of heat between from one temperature to another temperature and also from one surface to another surface so this time we have this kind of the lacking which is thermal insulation that's why this time period is very low and what are the other developments we have so in the rover we have two kind of the payloads but in the lander we have different kind of payloads which are four in numbers and what they are going to study so they are going to study about the lunar quakes thermal properties of the lunar surface changes in the plasma near the surface and a passive experiment to help accurately measure the distance between the moon and the earth so they are going to study all these things and these are the scientific mission by the isro moving to the next slide so what the next slide is about what about the propulsion module so we already know that you know propulsion module has been separated from the lander which is vikram so what about this so after the deployment of lander and rover the propulsion module will continue orbiting the moon surface and you know uh, that's why this thing has been inserted because it will give more information about the moon and it will study about the exoplanet and for that a new kind of technology has been inserted and the name of the technology is shape which is spectropolarimetry of habitable planet so they will study exoplanet and what are the exoplanets so the planets which are beyond the solar system so they will also study this and they will study earth from the moon so it will be a different kind of information for the isro and for us so this is about the propulsion module that it will continue orbiting the lunar surface after the lander and rover also so moving to the question part so what are the question we have so spectropolarimetry of habitable planet earth shape is related to so we have discussed about the shape technology which has been inserted in propulsion module and which is related to to understand the dynamics of the moon system the second option is to probe into variety of exoplanet the third is to measure the near surface plasma on moon and last is to carry out the measurement of the thermal properties of lunar surface so you have to answer this in the comment section Moving to the mains question part. So, what are the mains question we have? The advancement made by the ISRO have contributed to the science and technology analyze. So, this question is about the ISRO. So, first of all, we will briefly discuss about the ISRO. That what is the history of ISRO when it got established? So, we are going to discuss about this thing in the intro part. And coming to the main part of the question, so they are asking about the advancement made by the ISRO have contributed to the science and technology. So we have to discuss about the various missions launched by the ISRO and what are the various missions. So first we have to discuss about the Aryabhat, which was launched in 1975. Then we can also discuss about INSAT, Chandrayaan missions 1, 2, 3 you can discuss. Then we can also discuss about Mangalyaan. So these are the examples which is ISRO has launched and you can discuss about all these kind of the contribution which ISRO has made. And then they are asking the analyze. So here you don't have to just write about the issues and their contribution. You have to also analyze that what are the problems and what are the benefits we have contributed from the issue. 
so what are the problems we have so the problem is that you know the research and development is still low in the space arena the participation of women is still low the budget allocated uh, to the space arena is still low so what are the different methods and different missions we have launched that was in very low cost so this thing should be cured and the participation of women should be increased so these kind of the problem we still have in the stem kind of situation that's why you know we are lacking in space missions and we could not make it successful and despite of so many less opportunity and less number of the human force we are developing so much in this sector so it's high time that government needs to contribute to this area and more budget should be allocated and research and development of this area should be promoted so this would be your conclusion i hope you like this lecture if you have any queries related to this lecture kindly ask in the comment section thank you